In this video, I will show you how to create a web page online completely for free. Let's get started. So here I am in Adobe Express. Now I have two different Adobe Express accounts, one that's premium and it's a paid for account. And then I have this one that is completely free. It has a few limitations, but I can still create a web page completely free. So I'm going to click here in the upper left corner on this plus sign to get started. I'm going to browse down in this list of things that I can create and I'll choose web page. Now, this truly is a web page creator. It's not for creating a full website, but just like one independent web page. The first thing I'm going to do is go up here to the upper left where it says untitled and I'll click and change the title to something else. I'm going to call it Learn Excel. I'll tap enter on the keyboard and that's my new title. I'm also going to add a title to the page itself. So I'll click here to add title, Learn Excel. I could click to add a subtitle as well. Now that I've got a title and a subtitle, I can move on to adding some visuals. Now by default, in the Adobe Express web page builder, behind your title, you'll have the opportunity to add a big image, like this is a giant photo or other image. To do that, you would click this plus sign, choose photo, and then you can search their library of photos for an image that you might want to add in the background. Now this may not make a lot of sense about learning Excel, but what if I want to calm down people that are stressed out about learning Excel? I could choose this image here. Now notice that some of these images have a little crown symbol next to them. That means that these are premium images that may only be accessible for paying customers. So I'm going to select this one and that image is now the cover image or photo of my web page. Now it is possible to choose to make this image not quite so huge. So you can click on the background that you've just added and choose short cover. And you could even click again to choose the focal point of that cover photo. So I'm gonna click and drag to move the focal point down a little bit so that the actual beach and the ocean are more visible. I can click save and that's now my cover image. Now, whether you choose to keep the big image or this smaller cover image, if you browse down the page, look what you get next. You get another plus sign and if you browse far enough down, it'll pop up with eight different types of objects or items that you can add to your Adobe Express web page. I'm going to start with text. So I'll click here and I get a flashing cursor and I can click and start typing. So I'm going to type something like this as the intro to this web page. Now it would be nice if I could add a hyperlink here so that the viewers of the page can just click to go directly to my YouTube channel. Fortunately, that's pretty simple to do. So I can type, you can get started by visiting my channel homepage. And then I'll click and drag on the text that I want to turn into a hyperlink and I get a pop-up here. Now notice the many options that we have for this pop-up. I can change my text to a heading if I want to, heading one or heading two. I can make this into like a quote from a famous person. That's the idea behind this. You can put in a clever or funny quote. I could use bullets or numbering if I want to. I can bold my text. I can italicize. I can also choose to left align or right align my paragraph or I could center it. In this case though, this is the tool that I need. It's the link or hyperlink tool. So with these words highlighted, I could just click here on hyperlink and then add the link. I could copy paste it in or I could just type it out in this text box and then click save. So now I have a working hyperlink. Now if I click on it now, it doesn't look like it's working, but that's because I'm in edit mode or build mode for my web page. Once I save this and share it, anyone that clicks that link will be taken directly to my channel homepage. Okay, I'm happy with this text that I've added onto my web page, so I'm going to browse down and click the next plus sign. The next resource that I want to show that you can add to your web page is a split layout. So I'll just click there on split layout and you can see what it does. It divides this part of the page into two sides. And on the left, I can put an image. On the right, I can put whatever I choose. If I'd like to, I can click here to swap the two. And that's what I want to do. So here at the left, I'm just gonna click the plus sign and I could add a photo here, although there is space over here for a photo. It's already kind of set up for that. I could add some more text, a button, an animated GIF, or a video. And I think I'll just put in an example of one of my videos. So I click there, and now Adobe Express web page is expecting a video from either YouTube, Vimeo, or from Adobe Express itself and you just copy paste in the URL for the video. So I've already copied the URL for the most watched Excel video in YouTube history. 
and I'm gonna paste it in to this text box and click save. And I've just now embedded this YouTube video onto my Adobe Express webpage. Over here on the right, I will click to add an image. And this time, instead of searching for an image, I'm just gonna X out of that. Instead, I'm gonna upload from my own device. So when I click that, it opens up a pop-up and I can use that window to select, let's say my downloads, and I can select an image that's on my computer. Okay, now again, instead of adding a video and an image, I could have added any of these other objects onto my web page. I'm gonna browse down and look, I get another plus sign. Again, I have the opportunity to add an animated GIF if I want to. The animated GIF needs to come from Giphy.com. So I could click here to open a new tab. I could do a search on Giphy for Excel. This one looks good. I'll just click on it, click share and copy GIF link. And then back in Adobe Express web page, I can click and paste in that URL, click save. And now I've got a nice animated GIF. Browsing down, I get another plus sign. So I hope you're seeing the pattern. You basically add one of these objects, customize it, and then just browse down to the next plus sign to add even more elements to your Adobe Express web page. So far, we've looked at everything on this top row except for button. So I'm going to click on button and look what you can do. You can create custom buttons. So I could easily type in follow me on X and I could paste in the URL for my X profile. I can choose to make this button centered if I'd like. That way it'll appear here on the page and I can click save. If I change my mind about that, of course, I can click on it, choose edit, and then move it to the left. Whatever makes the most sense for you. Let's move on now to the last two types of objects you can add to your page, including perhaps my favorite feature, which is Glide Show. But first, let's look at Photo Grid. With Photo Grid, once again, I could upload images from my computer or I could just search photos. So I'm gonna search for spreadsheet and it gives me some nice results. So I'll select a few of these and I can just keep clicking to add more and more images to my photo grid and then I can just click save. So now I've got this beautiful photo grid. For some of you, this might seem like a nightmare, all of these spreadsheets, but those of you that know Excel, this is beautiful and exciting for you. Okay, now let's browse down and take a look at GlideShow. This is truly one of the best features, maybe the best in Adobe Express page. The way this works is similar to a photo grid. You're gonna select several images, but this time, instead of laying them out in a grid format, Adobe Express page is gonna layer them one on top of another and then the viewer will be able to glide through one image and into the next. So I could just select some of these same images and you can see that they're listed in the order in which I click on them. If you choose to though, you can reorder them using these buttons. When you're done, just click save and the first image is what you see at the beginning. But as you browse down the page, it zooms in on that image and then it fades into the next image and the next and the next. Now you'll notice that there is a rectangle moving up the screen as I scroll down. What is that? What that is, is it's an opportunity for you to add extra information onto your glide show. So I could click here on the plus sign and add any of these five objects that you've already learned in this video, but I could add them in a kind of picture in picture type of way. So I could add another photo so that as the viewer browses down on the page, they see another photo. Let's delete that because I want you to see that you can also add some text, almost like a caption for the photo. You can add a button, a video, just some really good options that you have here. Now I'm gonna browse down to the bottom of this glide show and add a second example. Instead of spreadsheets, I'm just gonna search for fields. I think glide shows work, in my opinion, better with some images than others. And I think spreadsheets may not be the best possible example. So if I click save, look at this. As I browse down, it feeds from one field to the next, to the next. I think this is just a beautiful effect that you can add to your photos in Adobe Express page. Okay, so we've looked at all of the different elements that you can add to your Adobe Express page. In my opinion, the most important of these are text, photo, video, and button. But I love the Glide Show. It's one of the best features, but the essentials of text, photo, video, and button. Just with that, you can create a very useful and beautiful looking web page. Now at this point, no one else except me can access this page. So I need to show you how to share it so that others can see it, so that it's a public web page. First though, I wanna point out this button here, themes. If I want to, I can change the whole look and feel of my web page just by clicking on a theme and applying it to my web page. You can see how that completely changed the look of my page. And there are several options for you to choose from. I'm gonna stick with this one. Next to the theme button, I have preview, and this gives me a true sense of what my finished web page will be like. In preview mode, I can click the links that I've created in the web page. So now when people click that link, it takes them to my actual channel homepage. Here's the graphic I added. 
good. I might need to work on that. And then my video can play right from within my Adobe Express page. I can just click play and then play again and it will begin. I'm going to X out of that. You can see my animated GIF and my photo grid and my glide show. I'm going to X out of preview. We have another option here that's kind of exciting and that is present. This is particularly good for teachers or people that need to do presentations at work. It turns your Adobe Express page into a kind of slideshow. So I can click these arrows to go to the next part of the web page, to the next part, etc. I'm going to X out of that and let's go now to the share settings. When I click share, there are a couple of exciting options. One would be to invite someone to collaborate with you on your web page so you can work together to develop it. If you want to change the settings and how that works, you can click this drop down and change the options. And then just copy the link and you can send that to people so that they can help you continue to develop your web page. In addition to invite collaborators, we can publish to the web. I've got my title, I can put in credits if I want. I can choose whether or not to display the author name. I'm going to turn that off and click create link. And now Adobe Express page is publishing the project. It's combining all of these different elements into one public web page. And I can just click copy to get the URL for that page. Now it's a long URL. It's not, you know, super catchy and easy for people to remember, but you of course could use a URL shortener like bit.ly or many others that are out there to shorten that down to make it easier for people to type. You can also publish the page right to your Facebook page, X, LinkedIn, you can email your page, and it's even possible to embed this page into something else, like a learning management system or another web page. So there are some really exciting options and powerful tools for you to use as you build your Adobe Express page completely for free. So I've succeeded in building my web page and publishing it, and I'm done with building it for now. Adobe Express automatically saves your work, so all I have to do is click here on the A, the Adobe symbol in the upper left corner, and I've backed out of my web page. I can get back to it at any time though by going down here to recent and clicking on the web page to open it up and work on it some more. If you found this video to be helpful and would like to learn more about Adobe Express or other Adobe tools, please do go to my channel homepage and look through my recent videos or search for Adobe and you'll find more videos on Adobe Express. But for now, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I need to say thank you to my super techie and ultra techie channel members. Thank you so much for what you do to support the channel.